Hi everyone, my name is Yannick Stenger and I am the product manager of Lega Cyclone Suida. I am pleased to introduce Cyclone Suida 2021.1 release and here is what's new with this new major version. Let me remind you that Cyclone Suida is part of Leica Cyclone laser scanning software ecosystem and is a final step in your workflow to automatically deliver reports to your customers. Cyclone Swilia is the best in class solution to consume your point clouds in many applications, such as architecture, surveying, or construction. To help you save more and more time in your tasks, we now offer a new field friendly solution within Cyclone Swilia Touch Mode. What is Touch Mode? It is an incredible new feature that brings the power of Cyclone Swilia from your office to the worksite, where you need to make quick decisions. So, in addition to the standard interface of Cyclone Swilia, Touch Mode is an alternative UI that is designed for touch devices. It brings also the capacity to directly connect to Cyclone Fieldworks to achieve a full reality capture workflow in the field from scanning to delivering. Touch Mode is included within Cyclone Swilia, that means there is one application, one licensing policy, and no extra cost. Benefits to leverage Cyclone Swilia in the field means the wizard-based workflows that provide a seamless experience, the accuracy of Swilia powerful algorithm to avoid any mistakes, and the efficiency for your tasks to help you save time and money, of course. Touch mode in 2021.1 release sees the release of the very first touch workflow for beam inspection. Let's now see the benefits from the new capabilities of this major release and let's start the demonstration of the new beam inspection workflow. First thing that is important to, to know uh, in Cyclone Swilla Touch Mode is this new interface um, to, to make uh, lo, your life uh, much easier in the field to, to achieve your uh, asphalt inspection. So after clicking new I can easily open uh, my preparation file and this one contains obviously my the beam model uh, I want to uh, to work on today and uh, all the, the sub parts of the, the beam model I want to, to focus for, for my job uh, to deliver a report to my uh, customer. Um, I can also benefit from the, the new camera mode uh, that I'm showing here to just to check uh, the contents of my uh, 3DR project and this is easy to, to move forward in the workflow. Uh, I'm just clicking next and now I'm loading uh, the scan uh, before launching the comparison and so I, I can do uh, this step uh, directly from Cyclone Fieldworks but also I can load a local file uh, like uh, LGS, E57, PTS and uh, check uh, the contents with the, the new visibility to toolbar. I'm moving forward in the workflow and uh, obviously uh, you may face a situation when um, the point cloud is not aligned to the beam model. Also have to, uh, to move the beam model to the point cloud, so you, you have the two possibilities in this alignment tool. And you can see that we uh, reproduced the same user experience um, as in Cyclone Field 360 or Cyclone Register 360 with the, the 2D uh, alignment um, way to, to check uh, and to, to match the, the two objects. And so after a first uh, rough manual alignment that I've done, here I'm using the, the new limit box uh, that has been uh, definitely upgraded for uh, a touch usage, uh, so the, the ability to edit a, a limit box uh, in the field when you handle uh, the tablet with your hands. And so uh, finally, thanks to this limit box, I can uh, see uh, what happens inside my building and uh, refine uh, my manual alignment between the, the two objects. And so obviously, if you want to to make uh, an accurate uh, comparison between uh, the design and the asphalt scan, uh, you have to launch a best fit computing uh, and you can check uh, the results from the best fit 
uh, when you go back to the 3D uh, view in the scene. Next step of the workflow is uh, very easy to, to proceed and uh, you, you can clean if you want your data. Uh, and uh, before launching uh, the inspection, now you can choose which parts of the beam model you want to uh, to analyze and so what I would like here is to uh, to create a, a color map uh, of the, the structure of this level uh, including uh, walls, floors, uh, columns and that's uh, very easy to, to move forward in the workflow and selecting the, the parameters that are appropriate uh, for, for the, the, the job that I want to do in the field and uh, before uh, creating my deliverable uh, I can choose the, the predefined color map uh, and for this example uh, what I want to do is use a, a tolerance predefined gradient and I think now I'm good to, uh, to create uh, the nodes uh, to complete my reports. Nodes are part of a, a new kind of object in Cyclone 3 Touch Mode which means that uh, nodes uh, will uh, leverage your report. I'm just doing a tap uh, on a beam object and uh, I'm, I'm creating a node. In each node, uh, thanks to the, uh, the toolbar in the scene, I can add all the information that is required uh, to, uh, to help my customer to, to give him uh, what he, he needs to, to make the, the decisions that are important for, um, for its project. And so I can uh, bring some deviation information, um, I can take pictures from the camera, and I can also uh, complete uh, one note with uh, screenshots, and you can check all those information directly in the, the list of, of nodes that um, that you are creating. Uh, so I can create a, as many nodes as I want uh, for my reports, as many screenshots. And uh, which is great also here is um, using this um, new gallery tool uh, in touch mode to, to check, uh, to have an overview of the, the screenshots, but also uh, of the, the pictures. Uh, if you want to update or, or delete uh, some of them. Um, finally, uh, you can see that we have a, a user-friendly uh, command to uh, define uh, any comments and in one click, uh, after the creation of notes, now I, I created uh, my report. So um, in order to, to finalize it, what I can do is um, customize some information and I can also load uh, a logo uh, for my company or for my customer. And uh, again, uh, another click uh, to uh, update. Uh, and now let's have a preview of the PDF report. So you can see that uh, all the, the screenshots, the detailed table of deviations uh, are part of this uh, report. You have just seen how easy and how fast it is to, to create a, a report for your asphalt inspection in the field and to, to help your, your customers uh, in their projects. So now let's move forward uh, with the, the next demonstration and the new support of uh, BIM model in Cyclone 3 dr Let's talk now about the new management of BIM models in Cyclone 3 dr this feature has been significantly improved for IFC and Revit files. So here I'm doing a, a fast drag and drop uh, of the IFC project into Cyclone 3 dr And uh, you can see that um, how we uh, support the, the structure of the BIM project uh, with the ability to sort the different kind of objects like walls, windows, doors and so on. And a great improvement, of course, you can see it that um, the, the beam color is supported in Cyclone 3 dr and this is a, a great improvement for the beam experience. Uh, it's uh, also a, a new feature. We can, uh, by a bonding box, uh, display uh, where the objects are located from the tree view to the scene. And so what, 
I'm going to do now is create, a, um, by copy past uh, another uh, object in Cyclone 3 and I don't have to import again my IFC file. I'm just uh, doing a, an edit. And now, for example, what I want to do is um, create another object focused on the structure. So I'm unselecting what I don't want to keep. And now I have a, a, a new object in the image size swipe on 3 project. And I can change the representation if I want and define a, a custom color. And I can repeat this task. So using um, shortcuts to copy past my object. And now I want to, to focus on a specific equipment. And I can easily unload uh, the part of the building that I don't want to, to keep. And I can use the, the filter field to easily uh, search for uh, some equipment and um, I'm just um, checking them to uh, load uh, those objects. I can define uh, another color and again I can repeat this task uh, for the, the different jobs that I, I need to do for this workflow. And so uh, now I will focus on uh, MEP equipment and easily I can um, load only uh, the part that I want to, to, to keep in my project. And I'm ready for the rest of the workflow. For the next demonstration, I would like to, to show you uh, the moving object feature that is released with uh, the new version of Cyclone 3R. And this uh, user-friendly tool is uh, very easy to use and uh, uh, very fast and uh, uh, the, a new uh, way in Cyclone 3 um, a new tool to uh, help you uh, save time and prepare your point cloud for uh, the rest of your workflow. Uh, so um, let's start uh, with the demonstration and you will see um, how fast and how easy it is to split moving objects points from uh, from the rest of the data. So I'm using this, uh, this sample and uh, you can see that I need several scan positions to, to make uh, the, this new algorithm um, proceed uh, in the in Cyclone 3 r So I'm selecting the point cloud I want to clean and uh, the new tool is part of the clean menu. And you can see all the moving objects like the the truck or moving cars or pedestrians i want to get rid uh, from the rest of the data and so that's very fast and now you can see that in red we have the, the moving parts and in blue uh, the the fixed uh, parts of the point cloud and the results are very very good and it was so fast so easy to, to clean and so I can show or hide uh, the moving objects I can decide to keep it or not so uh, I won't keep the moving objects and now I can move on in my workflow for the final demonstration of um, this uh, presentation uh, I would like to, to focus on uh, measure geometry so this is a, a nice feature that is released in uh, the 2021.1 uh, version of Cyclone 3 r and uh, it's pretty basic but um, uh, a very nice tool to uh, save time and to create uh, multiple labels from a, a multiple selection of uh, geometries such as um, rectangles, circles, cylinders and so on and so you will see how easy it is to create information like uh, position coordinates, deviation and comparison to uh, nominal values uh, with uh, a few click uh, workflow. So I'm using the, the same uh, data set. And so first uh, I want to, to show you uh, in the new UECS selector in the scene and I will focus on a, a building. So I, I prepared the project and what I want to do is a, a renovation of the facade of this building. So I, I'm using uh, the limit box and, and I, I extracted uh, rectangles that represent uh, the, the window holes that I want to, to, to use for my project. And so I can easily uh, select the, the group of rectangles 
and I'm going to use uh, the new feature. So measure geometry in analysis uh, menu in order to uh, create my labels. So you can see uh, that I can add or not many information in my labels and I can compare to uh, a reference uh, rectangle. So he, this command uh, also works for other kind of uh, geometries. And it was very fast to create uh, one label per uh, rectangle with all the measure and reference information. And now what I want to do is creating uh, reports and I'm using uh, the create custom chapter feature uh, to uh, create a, a custom uh, report chapter and uh, what I would like is a nice view set and also uh, all the values from my measure geometry analysis and so with a very quick drag and drop I uh, managed to uh, gather all the data in one folder and I'm switching to the report editor and you can see that in my um, final uh, chapter my facade project uh, I have all the values and I can uh, edit the way I want uh, with all the values uh, this, um, this report uh, and I can add a, a view set and uh, change the background and quickly export this report to a, a PDF file that I will uh, share with my customer. So you have seen how fast it was to create all the labels from the geometries and to create this uh, custom report. In addition to useful features for preparing, cleaning and analyzing your scanned data, you've just seen the demonstration of the very efficient BIM workflow that is released with Cyclone 3 Art Touch Mode. You have learned how to load and align your data with your tablet in Touch Mode, how to customize your Asbelt analysis, and how to create and edit your final report directly in the field. And how easy it is to get on board with this amazing new feature, Touch Mode. Thanks to Touch Mode, Cyclone 3 Art becomes the all-in-one in-field solution that will give you the power to make better informed decisions in real time for your field jobs. Thank you very much for your attention. It's been a pleasure for me to introduce you the last updates and I am very excited to show you next features very soon.